Hello, it's Andy Graham of Hobo Traveler, the Andy Ask Andy Show. Today I'm going to cook some rice with, uh, it's about noon, I had a breakfast at Diallo's, and I'm going to cook some rice with a one cup coffee maker. These things cost about one dollar anywhere on the planet. I'm going to use the cheap one. This one has screws in it, so you've got to be real careful, they burn up real easy. They always have to be in the water up to about there or they burn up. But the problem with rice is that it needs to boil for like, you know, 15 minutes or something like that, 20. So what I did is I took a hanger and I, I have created a little way of putting it in the middle. When you, when you use one of these for 15 minutes, what you do is you risk melting the plastic on the side because it's at the top it's leaning up against the plastic. This is a little better one, but I want it to get nowhere near melting, so I just made it, uh, I'm just having it uh, basically, what do you call it, it's, it's more or less just sitting in the middle, I have to bend this, I, I make a little loop here, I'm just going to have it in the middle of the water, not touching the side at all, because touching the side will melt, right? I have an extension cord that takes both a a round German plug or a slotted American plug. They'll even take the India round plug, which is really quite horrible. <laughs> okay, I got the water set up. It's just a little bit below the bottom of the thing. I gotta put some rice in here. Rice is, I don't know. I don't know how to measure rice, but I usually put like one small handful, one small handful, a little bit more. Okay, now I just plug it in. Now, whew, this thing's gonna come to a boil and the problem here on this, the problem on this is that it'll boil if you got, you got different wattages. I have another one over here. This one must be more watts. I don't know what it is. It's smaller, but it's higher watts. And so this one boils too fast, really. But I, I buy these all the time. I, have, I must have four or five in there right now. You can pretty much buy them anywhere outside US, USA. But you can see this one's even starting to melt because I was boiling it too hard the other day. But you need 300 to 500 watts. Anything above that and it starts to blow fuses and breakers and stuff like that. Okay, so I just plugged this in. And what I'm going to do is go over to my computer. I have a program called... What is this thing called? It's called PC Chrono. And I'll set the timer for 20 minutes. So what it's going to do is it'll, it'll slowly work its way to a boil. And what I kind of got to be careful is, is that it doesn't boil over. I have this, is, this is what I call my rug. I carry a, like a, a cheap <laughs> a cheap Chinese towel. This is one special from Africa. It's really good because it's really absorbent. It's much more absorbent than the cheap African towel, uh, cheap uh, Chinese towel. Cheap Chinese towels are made of nylon and they won't really hold water. So, so a lot of these people want to buy quick dry towels. Just buy a cheap one that's made out of nylon. It won't hold water. <laughs> okay, it dries really fast because it's made of nylon. It's not made out of cotton. This is a a unique material because it really absorbs, but it also is just, it's like a sponge, it just squeezes all the way out. Actually, considering selling them on the internet, um, everything I sell on the internet, I test, right? And so, what I'm saying, when I, I put it on the internet, it's going, it's going to work for you. Um, got my chair in the wrong place, I think. Hey, you can't see me, can you? Okay, well, I'll turn this back on when it starts to boil and show you. It's going to take 20 minutes, right? I'm not going to let it boil the whole time. I'm going to turn it on and off. Okay, this was set on 20 minutes. This is PC Chrome. It's a chrono. It's a free program I have on my computer. It's like a egg timer, right? 
I'm at 11 minutes, so it's been boiling for it's been boiling a little bit for a while now. You can see my little piece of hanger that I put across, and you can see I have it suspended away from the side of the plastic. Uh, this one's not boil. The other one boils like almost over the top, so it's really not that good. But uh, you can see that this is boiling good, and it's not going to boil the whole 20 minutes. But it's not, and it's not going to boil its way down to dry. It's just going to boil it and get the rice cooked, but it's not going to be the type of dry cook. Um, okay, the value of rice is it's one of the few foods that you can carry with you. Like I have some, I'll show you in a little bit, these Maggie uh, bouillon cubes, they're, they're poulet uh, chicken. And I got some pepper, and I can carry this stuff, and I, it doesn't have to be, I don't know, there's no special, it's really easy to carry. While a can of peas or a can of string beans or a can of corn or a can of, you know, I really love it uh, when I can buy, uh, I love that, uh, what is that uh, chili that you buy? There's some chili, it's really good. Some countries have it once in a while. But in America, it's really easy. You can buy all sorts of stuff. But uh, I can even buy, you know, frozen vegetables. But... Um, I, I'm pretty limited on the amount of things I could do. I, I do cook string beans, but I'm, I'm going to make, I think I'm going to make a video, try to bring this all together and show you all the different foods that you can cook with a, you know, like I call it a one cup coffee maker, but it's a, you know, it's a 220, it's a 220, it's only 220, it works in 110 also, so it doesn't, it's not really dual, it's just that there's less le electricity. But I'm going to make, I'm going to try to somehow, show all the different foods that you can cook with this. I have over here, you know, my alcohol cooker. But the trouble is it takes about, oh, to cook rice, I need to cook, I need to have that whole complete thing full of, uh, of alcohol. It's quite a bit of alcohol. And it does the same thing. It's a good job. It's just that, uh, I guess I'm cheap. I'd rather say pay the I've already got a set, you know, the electricity's paid. I have to go buy the alcohol. And truthfully, I have just enough alcohol to last me for the next few days until I leave. Okay, we'll come back here and I'll show you how I mix this up and uh, prepare it to eat. Okay, as you can see, it's uh, really boiling up uh, by that cooker. But the water's really about, it's quite a ways down, it's just all the thing. Okay, that's my alarm. I actually changed the sound of the beat. You can download a special ring so that it makes it louder. But I'll forget what I'm doing if I don't uh, have an alarm. I, I, I've had, as, when I was in America, I had three alarms in my office all the time trying to say, call this person back in 10 minutes, right? Things like that. Okay, I just unplugged it. You can see it's quite, quite a ways down. Okay, I'm going to take the thing out. I'll take this and I'll hang it up in the closet over the rod. Make sure that it's dry. I guess I could hang it up over here. I usually just hang it up and let it dry. I wash it a little bit. Um, take my thing. I turn on the water. Let it drain. Okay, I cleaned it up, cleaned it up a little with uh, some toilet paper. Toilet paper is like your universal <laughs> cleaning, what do you call it? They put in Thailand, they put it on the table. It's like a, they use toilet paper for, 
you know, serviettes. I'm in French country, serviettes. It's not serviette, it's, uh, what do you call these things? Napkins. Okay, I got these little things called Maggie. Uh, they're sold in a lot of countries on the planet. I think all through Southeast Asia, India, and I just, they're bouillon cubes. Really, and I have to make sure that they get real powdered before I let them out of the thing. So I sort of ground it. If they're really bad and they're old, they're going to be really hard. So you got to crunch this down. Because I don't want any lumps of bouillon cube in there. So I put that in there. Put a little pepper inside. Find my spoon. Where's my spoon? I have this spoon that has a bend in it that I used so I could hang it up and let it dry good because things that are completely dry are... I find that the bouillon cube and some pepper makes a good thing. If I have some uh, teriyaki sauce, I add it. You know, you could add vegetables in a way to this. You could add some peppers. You got to be real careful with you using the you know, anything that would slimy like a tomato, you would better better to cook in there. But I mean, a hard duty, you know, hard texture pepper, you could do it. You could cook it. So let's pick up this camera. I don't know if I can show you that, but that is the rice. It's a uh, spicy rice, uh, heavy duty, spicy because I like a lot of pepper, but. Uh, as you can see, anything that is dry that you can carry with you, you could pretty much do it. I mean, anything that's in a glass bottle that's liquid that could break is a problem. I, you can carry, yeah, you can carry cans of stuff, but you can't really carry. I mean, what's sad here is that if there was two of us, this, this becomes a lot easier because two people, I mean, it's, it's easy to make food for two as it is for one, so I'm always kind of behind the eight ball on cooking in my room because uh, I, I, I have to eat a whole can of peas, a whole can of string beans, a whole can of, you know, potty cut there. I'm really mixing up my languages. But these are the two things that give me the flavor to the rice because the rice is, you know, really a very boring thing. Maggie and some pepper. And then I have rice. Simple enough. Very, very cheap. <laughs> I mean, this is, oh, I don't even know. This is less than 10 cents, really. 15 cents.